Whoa. <laughs> Make you guys dizzy before I even do anything. Hey everyone, it's Tremia. And I know um, it's, I'm coming back really quick compared to what my last few months have been in making videos. Uh, like I said, I've been really sick and trying to get find out exactly what's wrong because it's not like oh you know my throat hurts or oh my belly hurts um it's just a general ill feeling from head to toe and that something's just not right and um so we've been going back and forth you know, trying to find out things. Uh, went to Chicago and, you know, we found out or did all the testing. We're just getting back results and stuff. And some of them aren't, you know, what we had thought or expected. Um, so, and then also on a, some stuff just came up by happenstance. They happen to do one thing, but saw another. So there's a couple of things that we're going through right now. Um, I have possible heart failure. And I go to the cardiologist at the end of this month. I actually have two appointments with two different cardiologists. I'm going to go to the one, and if I really don't like him or her then I have the second one to go to um, but my my doctors recommended these two so we'll see how it goes and um, when I was in Chicago and they were doing my 2D echo I was in AFib and um, and you know, the guy asked me, what do they do about your AFib? And it's like, my what? <laughs> I said, I've never been told I had AFib. And I know, like, throughout the hospital stay last year and stuff, every once in a while I'd have a nurse saying, okay, your heartbeat's doing something strange. And plus, my heartbeat would get up into the 160s, 140s, and now the highest it'll go is up into the 130s. Um, so as I get more strength, you know, that number kind of lowers, but my resting heart rate is right around 100, which is too high. And they explain that, um, heart failure is just basically your heart having to work too hard to pump the blood. And so they give you medication to help slow it down, um, and oh, and the AFib is like when I feel like my heart is having palpitations. And like I sometimes I just get like anxiety type feeling, a fullness type feeling in my chest. And they said that's related to the AFib. So we have all this information prior to going to the cardiologist who hopefully when I go in there will say, Oh, you're fine. You know, you're just dealing with normal stuff. That's what we're looking for. Um, the other thing is when they did my first MRI, they're doing three MRIs of my back. My spinal doctor is. He's looking to see if there is any uh, spinal cord injury um, that hasn't been detected um, because I'm having a lot of problems and issues that can be related to my spine. Um, I'll be, I hate to say it, I don't, I hope it's not too much information, but you know, incontinence and, and I'm not just talking about I sneeze, you know how women are after having children. It's, it's not that. I wish it, I could say it was only that. Um, but, uh, so, and he's taken all the MRIs also to see what type of wheelchair is going to best be best for my for my back. 
um, he goes, he says words where, you know, they make special kinds for broken backs. <laughs> it's like my back is broken. <laughs> I know it's been repaired. Um, 15 different places. So, um, so we're going through the process of doing the MRIs. And they were going to do it all at once, but I can't, they figured out I can't lay down that long. And they have to IV sedate me, which is good for one thing, because I'm claustrophobic and I hate MRIs. And two, to make my body relax so it won't go into spasms, and therefore we don't get good images. But on that first MRI, they located a mass on the right side near my spine. So, we don't know what that is. And next week I go in for a CAT scan. And they're going to try to get some good pictures with the CAT scan. Because they couldn't tell if it was liquid filled, fluid filled, or solid. So we got that. And then with my kidney stones and UTIs and the incontinence, I had me go into a urologist. And he did, he sent me for an emergency CAT scan when we got there. I was just like, emergency CAT scan, why? You know, why does this have to be an emergency? But, you know, so they took it, we went directly straight across to the hospital. And they did the CAT scan. And then he, um, he came back to us and he told us, he goes, okay, you know, you do have the kidney stone, but it's only three millimeters. We've been told it was like six to nine millimeters. He goes, it's only three millimeters. It's not obstructing anything, so we're good there. And he goes, we don't need to do anything. Um, he goes, as long as something's going on with my bladder, because it's elongated, which would mean it's having nerve problems, nerve issues, which would correlate with my spine doctor trying to find out if my back injury has pinched nerves or anything to be causing the incontinence. And then he goes, but what's most concerning is your liver. There's a lesion on your liver. Um, and goes in May, when they did a CAT scan, it was less than one inch by one inch. And now it's a little over three inches by two inches. He goes, that's significant growth. He goes, I'm going to go right now. He goes, do you have a GI doctor? And I said, yes. And I, he had told him who, and he goes, good. He's one of the best here in the city. And he goes, I'm going to go call them right now. And so now I also have to have an MRI of my abdomen for them to look at the liver and which it's frustrating because for months, months, like I have a pooch over on that side and it, and it's just continually grow, gotten bigger. Um, it pooches out and you know, it's, I'd say like about like if you cut a grapefruit in half and it, you know, just kind of goes pooches out a large grapefruit size area. Um, half of it, you know, not like there's a whole great big grapefruit hanging out on my side. But, you know, we've had doctors, you know, and they've looked and they looked for hernias and stuff. And, no, it could never figure out anything. Well, now, I think, you know, it might be that <laughs> three by two on my liver making that poke out and plus there was also two other spots that were smaller so there's actually three spots so we're dealing all of this with this and I'm I'm scared I'm scared and I know I'm not supposed to worry because the Bible says do not worry for what will it do and I'm hanging in there and I'm running out of time you guys but I really love you. Please keep your messages coming. Send me cards and notes. I miss you guys. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.